Street Fighter 6 is a party game. And I'm not saying that to make fun of it. It's also a very fun competitive fighter. But if you didn't already know, Capcom added in party game modes to this game. Whether it be normal fights where wacky zany rules are added. Or game modes where instead of two health bars, you have one that just seesaws back and forth. Or even Street Fighter Horse, where the objective of the game isn't to beat your opponent. But rather race them to completing certain events faster than they can. Of course, once I saw these modes were a thing, I knew I had to make a video on them. So, I got people from the community into a lobby in order to test out just how fun these party modes really are. So I'm excited. So this is back and forth. Push the seesaw back to your opponent's side. Why is the camera so far? Out? Oh, look at the health bar. Oh, it's catching us up. All right, it caught us up. So right now, Katonki, huge push to the other side. Can he get the seesaw all the way there? Or will Daniel find the strength to dig deep and get that seesaw back? Daniel, good jump in. He's going to... Oh, it's dangerously close, Daniel. Daniel, fight back. Fight back, Daniel. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Corner carry. That's my Ken right there. That's huge. Coast to coast. He's got the bar back. Kaptonki steals more of it from him. Oh, he's got it. He pushed the seesaw all the way. Okay, another match of seesaw up. Let's see if Daniel can take a win here. Ooh, great EXDP. Kaptonki gonna off to a great start. That bar already moving across the screen. Daniel, this could be the end. The seesaw bar might make it there. It doesn't. It's so close. Oh, and a jump in is going to lead to a Shoryu ending the game. That was crazy. Oh, they rematch. They want to go again on seesaw. They said run the set. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That bar is pushing closer and closer. And it's over. Cap talking with some great neutral there. That was crazy. Modern problems require modern solutions. Daniel with a great start. EXDP going to take a lot of that progress he made back, though. Great Tatsu. Ken's Tatsu is crazy. EXDP to get the seesaw moving. Dash in on the read. Wait, what is seesaw movement? Wait, why, is the, why was the seesaw just giving him free advantage? That was crazy. Oh, he got an attack up. He got bonus attack up. Daniel has extra attack, but it's costing him his seesaw. Oh, wait, it's costing both of them their seesaw. They're both draining. It's a double-edged sword. Drive impact. Katonki barely finding the time to keep himself from losing. Running out of breathing room here. Running out of breathing room, Daniel. That's going to be the game. That was sick. So who's going to get Who's gonna get in here and take Katonki down? Back and forth. Another match of seesaw? Oh, shit. They also have random funny allies. If they hit those guys, they turn into like moving projectile weapons. So let that be my tip to uh, you two if you're playing and can hear this. Hit those funny little fellas. Never mind. Drive impact. He doesn't believe in friends. Jump in from Ken. Another guy drops down from heaven, but it doesn't matter. The Lucaning could definitely use the help from that ally there if he can get him. Oh, wait. Katonki's going to send him after him. He did it. Another guy comes in. Is Katonki going to pull off the craziest ally combo we've ever seen? Oh, my God. The EX was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a crazy combo. That was insane. Drive impact. He's got him on the ropes. And if he can get him to that guy, he might be able to pull off a... Oh, the ally comes in. He can't block it. Ally on the field. Katonki with the anti-air with this funny fella. Doesn't get the combo off because he's not used to it. But he sets off another guy. Into a combo with the Hadouken. Seesaw's moving ever closer. Katonki sends another guy after him. We are playing the first to two in these wacky game modes. So you got to win twice. The Lukening still has time to find his way. Katonki with the combo. You can't parry that. Or can you? I don't know the rules. Who's going to hit him? Oh, it's Katonki again. And he gets a free combo. Another funny fella falls from heaven. And katonki has been using him to his advantage. Another combo. He drops it. He doesn't really he doesn't really know when. It, nobody really labs the routes with that, if we're being honest. Katonki dashes in. Available to Luke. Is he going to take it? He does. He runs in, gets the electricity. Luke pushing the agenda. EXDP. Wait. Wait. Oh, he sends him away. Drive impact. Overhead, block it. You got to block. Drive impact up against the wall. Oh, my God. He's going for a crazy dizzy combo with the friend into the juggle, into the pressure. My God. Oh, grab. Now Luke has access to the friend, but he doesn't use him. He turned his back on friendship. He might as well have turned his back on the win. 
They are both unblockable and can't be parried. They're OP. Captonki takes another win. He he was really using the wacky rule set in that one. I believe Captonki would beat Daigo in this game mode. You know what? I could I could see it. Be the first to perform the specified actions. Wait, this is just Horus? You have to take no damage for seven seconds, knock down the opponent two times, land a drive impact, and drive parry three times. Who's gonna do it first? It looks like Marissa landed a throw in the in the speed up. Drive impact is down. It's seven seconds with no damage. Ken's locked it in. Take no damage. Now, Marissa not, got a knockdown. All she needs is one drive impact. She needs one drive impact. There's the knockdown. Ken needs two drive parries. What's the meta? How do you do this? There's the drive parry, but it's a throw to counter it. We know what both players want to do. There's another throw. Ken wants that parry. You have to. It's Street Fighter horse. This is crazy. Another throw, but where do you fit the drive impact in? The parry. He's out of meter. This might be the game plan Marissa won, and now it's drive impact season, but he supers to break out of it. He knows what she wants. This is actually crazy. It's Street Fighter horse. Another super. He's buying time to get that meter back out of the corner. He doesn't want to get hit with a drive impact. Six seconds left, but I believe since he has to land two drive parries, he's technically going to be behind. But he lands one. Is that a tie? That is a tie. Holy shit. He tied it in the last second. That was like the that was like the Evo moment 37 of wacky game mode. That was fucking crazy. I don't know if that's what caused the tie. Okay. It's hard to see all the rules here, but he needs to land two drive impacts. Ken needs two drive impacts, at least. That's why he spammed them. Take no damage. Marissa checks off one of her list. EX. But that's going to give him one of his three knockdowns. Drive impact. That's going to give him his drive impact. There's another knockdown. Now he needs another. There's a throw. That's one of his two. There's the knockdown. But now he can't drive impact. He's out of bar. He also has to land another jump attack. Marissa has so much more she needs to check off. Ken's kind of playing the timer right now. Raw super. He's trying to get out. Drive impact. I don't think it counts. If it doesn't, if it doesn't land like that, it doesn't count. Drive impact, but he counters it. He's gonna knock his off his list and a jumping attack, but he drops it. He has it. He lands the jump attack. He completes Street Fighter horse. He takes it, but remember, it's first to two. Captonki is like the Michael Jordan of wacky Street Fighter. Holy shit! He can't lose. Drive impact lands. Here he gets his one throw immediately. He tries to get drive impact, but that armor is going to beat that out every time. EXDP, that's a knockdown. Nice tech. That would have been a knockdown too. Drive impact. It lands. That's the drive impact. And here comes the knockdown. And now here comes the projectiles. If even one of those hits, it is over. And he is going to take one round. Every single projectile needs to be parried or avoided. Oh, there's the jumping attack. Let's see. Can we see three punish counters is ridiculous. Oh, a projectile hits and it's over. Captonki, the goat of Street Fighter wacky rules. To be fair, though, landing three counter hits is so hard. Two knockdowns, one super art, two throws, one drive impact. I would say out of these two, Marissa has the easier list right now. But Captonki just never won to back down from a challenge. He needs a super art. And there it is. He's checked off three of his things with one combo. Now all he needs is a throw. And no tech on wake up. My God. He's the Michael Jordan of funny rules. Holy shit. Oh, you made it this far in the video? Hey, could you like and subscribe real quick? Sorry for the plug. I just, I want a million subscribers. Thanks. Heaven and hell. Various effects occur at random. Okay, so this is literally Mario Party. Oh my God. Captonki can't jump. His jumps are disabled. What the fuck? At least he gets health back on hit, but he literally can't jump. Oh my God. But Luke can't use special moves. <laughs> this is, oh, and there's bulls just running through the fighting game arena. How is anybody supposed to deal with this? It's just a full on party game. Katonki literally can't jump. You see that he tried. What's he supposed to do against the bulls? This is this is actually unfair for Katonki. Special moves might be disabled, but they didn't say shit about super moves. Uh, uh, uh. How is Katonki supposed to deal with this? Look, he's trying to jump. The game's snitching on him whenever he tries it. He can't even parry the bulls. This is this is unwinnable, surely. But he can win the drive impact. And now he has to do all he can. On the ground, the bulls are coming. He sure he was over the bull. He's insane. That was, that was, that uh, 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 he, he sure you can through the bull. A bull's coming from behind him. He's going to super around it, but he can't. 
No combo from Luke off of the bowl. He's on his last bit of health. He's burnt out. He, why do... He, oh, he couldn't even do EX because he couldn't parry. He can't parry the bull either. He's stunned. But Luke didn't jump over it. Dash and kick. Perfect parry from Luke. It's over. Holy... S wait, his super wait, his super art gauge is unlimited? Nah, who gave come Captonky unlimited super up gauge? Now Luke can't jump. Now he's gonna have to deal with it. Oh my god, he's got three bars of super forever. Every combo leads to level three. Drive impact. Why not just raw super? Yeah, why not? You've got you got three bars back. Why not? Captonky uses the level three super, and guess what? Thanks to the party game rules, his three bars are right back. We're going to be seeing a lot of that off the wall. Why not, Super? Go ahead, young man. Why not? Oh, oh drops it. Oh, Luke responds with his own level three only. That's going to cost him. How much is his attack up, though? Does that affect this damage? I don't think so. Here comes those balls. Luke can't jump away. His guard's broken. Oh, there it is. He's going to raw level three, but I think it's getting carried. Cat Talkie's going down. Cap Donkey goes down, jumps disabled for Luke, but Cap Donkey couldn't get away. But again, this is first to two. This is first to two. Ooh, Cap Donkey can't jump, but his attack is up. Also, what did it say for Luke? Did it give him a larger perfect parry? Well, this guy's just going to be like Daigo. He's just going to parry. He's, he wants to parry everything. Look at this. Oh, but <laughs> Cap Donkey's not going to give it to him. He's going to grab everything. Oh my God. Wow, I'm not going to lie. The Lucanin kind of got fucked on this one. He can't jump, but he just... He just parried that bull perfectly. I think. I'm not even sure if that was actually what happened. All right, next round. All right, let's be honest. The Lucaning did not get very good good drops. Drive consumption small. I mean, that's okay, but when you take away his dashes, does it really matter? Captonki can't use his special moves, but at least he can jump. Oh my goodness. I think I think Captonki was definitely favored by the Cap gods on this one. Oh, he's trying to throw fireballs. Look at him. The game snitched on him. <laughs> Combo off the bull. That would have been crazy. Oh, big punish. That's round two. Round two with a perfect to Cap Tonky. All right, here we go. Cap Tonky has unlimited special moves. I mean, unlimited supers, but he has no special moves. And Luke is actively losing health all the time because of his decreased vitality. Uh, once again, the Lucaning just, just unfortunately did not get... The, the good drops on health. He's going to have to win fast. All he got to bonus was a better perfect parry window. Oh, but the bulls just break through it if it's not perfect. Oh, my God. Bad drops. Oh, unlimited supers. Oh, here we go. Now, now Luke himself has some unlimited supers. It kind of flipped around. Oh, oh. Oh my god, his drive consumption is small! He was... Uh, he saw that his drive consumption was small and said, Yo, I'm about to pop off then. Sadly, his vitality is small and he got hit by a bull, so he lost about all his health. That was crazy. Drive consumption small. I I like the way he used it, but watch out for the bull! He didn't block it! He's wide open, Luke! Super comes out, but a parry! Didn't land the drive. Oh no, his drive's back! He's gonna punch him really hard. Bull comes through. He's wide open for the combo! Super! Good job on the Lucaning for getting that out there. And this last round's gonna decide it all. Oh no. This last round means everything. And Cap Tonky just lost the ability to jump. Oh my god. The Lucaning, on the other hand, got some pretty decent drops. Nothing crazy, but he can't dash. He can only walk. But I would take anything over not being able to jump, bro. When these bulls start coming, you have to perfect parry him. My god, he did it! Into a super, but it's not gonna connect. Has him in the corner. Up against the wall. Can it be done? He's going to land into a bull. He's got to parry it. He didn't. Both of their guards broke, but Cap Donkey's broke first. Wow, dude. He managed to pull it off again. <clears throat> it's heaven and hell again. I like this one a lot. I like that it's just pure party mode. Dash is disabled for both of them. What are they going to do? What are they going to do about this? Let's get past this annoying speed up part. All attacks cause punish counters. That is pretty crazy. That is really crazy. That just means Geef's damage got up. Oh, but it doesn't matter when he can't dash. That no dashing rule eats people alive. Permanent burnout? That is an option? You just, what the fuck? Permanent burnout? Damn! How, how are you gonna give him permanent burnout? That's just not fair! Yo, Captonki is, 
Cap Talky just fucking cheating right now. Look at him. He's got no shame. What the fuck? Drive impact. Holy shit. It's just what is Zangief even supposed to do? Thankfully, oh my god, he might actually win this. His attack's up. Oh my god, he actually won with permanent burnout. Special moves disabled? That kind of sucks for Zangief, but it's not the end of the world. Oh no! Disconnect by Cap Tonky. His randomness finally. The random RNG finally turned against him. Rules and regulation. Oh, it's, it's Street Fighter Horse again. I think the spectating in this game could be a little bit better, but after the speed up, it's fine. Wait, what the hell? Are they juggling it around an electric ball? Is that a bomb? Oh my god! <laughs> Another bomb has entered the field. How will this affect the game plan? He's got to kick that bomb away. He rolls it back, but Ken rolls it back to him. Ryu jumps the explosion. We've got to fill out this Street Fighter horse, though. Ryu needs three drive parries and a throw and to land some more projectiles. Oh, that bomb just blew the other bomb into him. Oh, he can't jump that. Oh, damn. <laughs> That counts as a knockdown. Oh, no. That went to Ryu for time. Ken just unfortunately couldn't get that last knockdown. Ken blows the bomb towards him. He got one knockdown. Can he get another one? That'll give him one point on the board. Drive impact comes out. That's a knockdown and a drive impact. There it is. Knockdown. Jumps in. Doesn't get punished. Kicks a bomb at him. He needs another drive impact. He could get a... Oh, look. He wants it, too. If Ken gets another drive impact, he'll have two scores on the board. And when Ryu's in burnout, there really is no better time. Throw comes out. EXDP doesn't count for any of his points, though. We need throws. We need jumping attacks. We need drive impacts. Ryu's at three points now. Jumping attack. He needs one more. Eight seconds left on the clock to fill out three, two more of these score sheets. He can't get three seconds. He needs something. Oh, couldn't find the time. Ryu's going to win just off time. All right, game two here. Uh, what are we looking at? Take no damage for five seconds. If Ken's going to get a free point just off that, great game. He needs two drive impacts, though. I think you feel a lot safer once you have two points. Okay, he just walked into a bomb. <laughs> Those explosives are no joke. All right, Ryu has cleared his knockdown conditions, but a bomb is in the right corner. It blows him back. He's in the corner now. Jump attack. That counts as a knockdown. Let's go. Two points for Ken. Three punish counters is tough. There's one. There's a throw. There's another throw. Can he land drive impact and at least lock up three points? He kicks the bomb at him. Smart gameplay. He, he throws another bomb at him. Another throw. But can he get a draw? Oh, he couldn't find that drive impact. So he's going to draw it with two points apiece. This party game mode is crazy. Dash in. Looks like we only need one jumping attack for each each competitor here. There it is. Jumping attack cleared for Ryu. Take no damage. Cleared for Ryu. Three drive parries. This is an unfortunate list for Ken here. He's going to need to start getting these off the list. One more knockdown for Ryu, and he is looking good. There's a drive impact attempt, but it doesn't make it out of there. Okay. That didn't clear any of his board, though. He needs to start clearing his board out. Oh, he's got bomb combos for the knockdown. That was crazy. There's the jumping attack. That's one. He needs to clear two more. There's a drive impact. I would throw him right there. Oh, no. He was going for optimal combos instead of playing the game mode. He needed a throw there. He needs to land a drive impact in two throws in three seconds. I don't think it's possible. So it's going to Ryu off time. Actual bombos won the game. All right. And another match of Seesaw to end it. Let's speed this up. Wow, quick seesaw match. Playing a good jumping game. Wants to get all those seesaw points and he finds it. <clears throat> he sends a little guy to anti Aram and lands a Tatsu for the knockdown. Builds up a stack. Blanca kicks another guy and rolls in himself. Blanca has an opportunity in this game mode to really have a lot of guys out there doing electric damage. But it doesn't matter if that seesaw is closing in on him. He's got to do anything to get that seesaw back. He's got to fight back. That seesaw is closing in against him. Oh, wait, the seesaw is giving, giving back a little bit. EX Blanca Ball, he gets a little back. Oh, no. He didn't get the stun in time. Ryu takes game one. Blanca Ball, EX, full screen. Seesaw is moving back to the middle. Once that pressure is all gone, that seesaw just tries to balance things out. Burnout on Blanca. Opportunity to send this guy flying. There it is, the anti-air. 
Oh, tries to get a crazy combo off. Everybody's trying to go for crazy stuff. Blanca rolls in. Oh, almost gets anti aired by the guy, but nothing falls for Blanca. Ryu takes it. Up around on Seesaw. A dangerous place to let your opponent be. Slide. Big grab. He's getting mauled. The Seesaw reflects it. The Seesaw is about to give a big win to Blanca. Hex it. Tries the US Blanca ball. Oh my god, another mall. That's going to be the game. That's a round for Blanca. Oh, drive impact on the Blanca ball. Not even going to go for the guy. Instead, walks up and grabs. It was the mix up. Doesn't take the guy again. Donkey King in the corner. That seesaw. It might be over. Can he stop the, the momentum? He can't. It's all over. Ryu takes the final game in the party game mode shenanigans. He's going to walk away with his head held high. That was a great party game performance from him.